Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today our topic is virtual wire in FOTI gate firewall. So what is a virtual wire? In virtual wire, FOTI gate is almost like a transparent firewall. Like uh, we will not configure any kind of IP address for the in-path interfaces in FOTI gate firewall. So basically, if you want to protect your web server and and you don't want to assign any kind of IP scheme to port two and port three or any or your L3 devices in firewall so in such scenarios FortiGate is in used okay so what it will do it will act as a layer 2 device but it can do the firewall processing and everything okay so I will tell you how to configure it okay, create a virtual wire, uh, wire pair I will give it a name as vWire model interfaces you want port 2 and port 3 okay and if you if you are having any kind of vlan tagging in between like if there is any kind of switch or something like that so you can enable vlan tagging but we don't have any kind of vlan so we will keep it off okay now what we will do we will create a fire virtual fire firewall policy give it a name as one so here also you can see on what all kind of you know uh, virtual wire you want to permit the traffic you both are from port 2 to port 3 and from port 3 to port 1 okay either unidirectional or bidirectional so I have selected bidirectional force will be all service will be all Okay, we don't want netting now. Okay, and I'll click on all sessions. And I'll click on okay. Now we are done with it configuration. So I have configured this Cisco router as a web server. If you want the configuration, you can check. You can take the screenshot. I will show you the configuration it's a standardized configuration I have not configured it if I go over here I have saved it in my system so you can just copy and paste it okay Now we are done with the HTTPS configuration so that our the outside PC can take the web access and I can show you what uh, like uh, whether we are able to access it or not okay because I have permitted everything on firewall now I will show you the configuration over here this is the IP scheme so IP route and this is the internet router you can check the configuration over here as well okay now I will take the access of PC Now what will be we have to do some manual configuration on PC so this is our router so IP address will be 20.1.1.2 okay, in subnet range of uh, slash 24 and gateway will be 1.1 which is the router interface so we'll go in network and sharing center change adapter settings click on properties So 
para ver bien. Vender, vender, vender. Now oh, let me check the gateway reachability. Okay, it's working. I will try to ping the HTTPS server. It's working. The router as well. Let me just re-verify the IP address of the web server. It's 10.1.1. Okay, now go in the web browser. HTTPS. will be 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. okay you have to go and advance add exception okay username is sakshi it's my sister name and password is also sakshi okay so see i am able to access the web server Okay, which is hosted over here in the internal network. Now, I will go and show you the logs, forward traffic. See, 20.1.1.2 is trying to access 20.1.1. Okay. Now, let's do one thing. I will disable the firewall policy. And let's check if we are able to access it or not. It will not work now. Okay. Let me just. Uh, yeah. See, it's not working. the IP of our web server okay so it's not working because we have disabled the firewall policy so our goal is achieved it is behaving like a firewall only okay we can attach security policy antivirus policies also profiles and you can attach them over here see I can show you the options so it's behaving like a firewall only only it's not a L3 device okay you can attach the antivirus and web security, web filter profiles and everything, IPS profiles. Let me just enable it. Let me refresh it now. Yeah, it's it has started again asking. See, it's working. So that's all for this video. So this is regarding the virtual wire home virtual wire box okay if i go into the network see we have created a virtual wire here it's a virtual interface these two ports are included over here okay so that's all if you want to learn about this in deep you can just google on the go in the official website of 40 and you can learn more on this topic okay so that's all for this video thank you guys